let's begin our talk with skull. The importance of skull in regional injuries is that it tends to have variety of fractures. There are so many different kinds of fractures that happen in the skull bone. And all these fractures happen in different medical legal scenarios. So let's talk about them one by one. The first skull fracture that we are talking is linear or fissured fracture. It's a fracture which can be seen on the skull cap if the skull is hit with a blunt weapon and there is a straight line which cracks in the skull or maybe in a slightly zigzag fashion creating a fissure that is called as a linear or a fissured fracture. This linear or fissured fracture of skull is said to be the most common type of skull fracture seen. Right? The second one is ring fracture. Okay? Now, ring fracture is a fracture which happens in the base of the skull in the posterior cranial fossa. And this is a fracture which happens around the foramen magnum like a ring. So, all around the foramen magnum. Seen in cases of fall from height. So, what exactly do we see in ring fracture is that if you see a base of the skull, you know, containing of anterior cranial fossa, middle cranial fossa, and posterior cranial fossa. Ring fracture is a fracture which surrounds the foramen magnum like a ring. Right? Now, it could be a complete ring around foramen magnum or it may be a partial ring like this. So, it may not be a complete ring, but it may be partially surrounding the foramen magnum. Both are called as ring fractures. It does not have to be a complete circle. These kind of fractures are seen in fall from height cases. You see, when a person falls from height and he lands on his feet or on his buttocks, the third of landing causes vibratory forces to run along the vertical spine and the skull is resting on top of the spine. So, these forces go and uh, hits the base of the skull and as a result, a ring kind of a fracture develops in the base of the skull in the posterior cranial fossa called as ring fracture. Finding of ring fracture at the time of autopsy signifies fall from height. That is its medical legal importance. This photograph, as you can see, shows a ring fracture and you can see a fracture opening that can be seen surrounding all around the foramen magnum which would have been here, thus indicating a case of a case of fall from height. Moving further, next fracture is gutter fracture. Now, gutter fracture is a fracture which is produced by a bullet grazing the ectocranium. So, a bullet which has been fired towards the skull, it does not enter the skull head on, it rather grazes or passes tangentially through the ectocranium. Now, this bullet which has a very high velocity and it is revolving on its axis, as it grazes through the skull, because of the revolutions of the bullet on its axis, it causes that brushing of the ectocranium in a linear fraction. So, what do we see 
uh, in the ectocranium in a linear fashion is a track of a bullet is created like a gutter in the ectocranium that's called as a gutter fracture right so presence of gutter fracture in the calvaria of skull tells us that a bullet has been fired because no other weapon has that much of velocity to produce that periosteal guttering right so the significance of gutter fracture is medico legal importance of gutter fracture is it tells that bullet has been fired it can be result of a bullet injury only and that too bullet grazing the skull then next is hinge fracture hinge fracture is a name given to a fracture where the base of the skull is cracked but the vault of the skull is intact so if you consider my hands to be a spherical skull vault is intact but the base is cracked as a result of an intact vault there is an anterior and there is a posterior portion of the skull connected through the intact vault so that the skull is hinging that's called as a hinge fracture this kind of fracture is commonly seen in two wheeler riders as they wear helmets and they unfortunately meet with a road traffic accident because of the protective gear on their head their vault is protected but sometimes their base gets cracked and that is why these fractures are also called as motorcyclist fracture so they are also called as motorcyclist fracture right now if you look at the photograph number 1 it shows a motorcyclist fracture in which we see there is a fracture line which goes from one middle cranial fossa through the body of sphenoid to the other middle cranial fossa so in this region the skull is fractured in the base so we have two halves in the base there is will be an anterior half and there will be a posterior half of the skull but the vault will be intact so skull will be hinging because of the crack in the base that's called as a hinge fracture now hinge fracture can be of three types it could be type 1 type 2 or type 3 the adjoining figure gives us the detail of type 1 type 2 and type 3 type 1 hinge fracture is a fracture where the fracture line goes from one middle cranial fossa through the body of sphenoid to the other middle cranial fossa as we just saw in the photograph type 2 hinge fracture is a fracture where the fracture line goes from one side of anterior cranial fossa then it goes diagonally opposite towards the contralateral posterior cranial fossa through the body of sphenoid so it's a diagonal crack from one side of anterior cranial fossa to the contralateral posterior cranial fossa still dividing the skull into two halves one front half one back half right that's type 2 hinge fracture and type 3 hinge fracture is when fracture line goes from one anterior cranial fossa to the other side of the anterior cranial fossa itself thus creating a smaller anterior segment in the base and a bigger posterior segment that's called as type 3 of hinge fracture all these hinge fractures are possible in road traffic accidents involving two wheeler drivers right the vault is intact so the thing to remember here is only the base of the skull is fractured <laughs>